for finding the consistency or checking the consistency we have two methods both are elimination method we, generally we call it as elimination method that a two type of elimination method we have one is gauss elimination method and other is gauss jordan method so first we can explain gauss elimination method procedure so gauss elimination method in the case of gauss elimination method we will use the raw reduced augmented matrix of the system until the that raw reduced augmented matrix is a raw echelon form so in the gauss elimination in the case of gauss elimination method we take an augmented matrix first we take an augmented matrix and uh, that augmented matrix we will use the raw reduced uh, operations until the augmented matrix in raw echelon form that that means uh, in the in the uh, augmented matrix uh, we did the, these three operations one is first non zero entry is one second one is consecutive non zero rows the first entry one in the lower row appears to the right of the one in higher row and row consisting of all zeros uh, are at the bottom matrix uh, so we fixed one and bottoms are zero. We already explained these three. What, are, what is these three points? So these three, we used by these three uh, properties. The augmented matrix, we can change it to row echelon form. Row equivalent echelon form. Then we can check uh, that system of equation is consistent or not. So, this method is called Gauss Elimination Method. Gauss Jordan Method is, next method is Gauss Jordan Method. Gauss Jordan Method, in the case of Gauss Jordan Method, the row operations are continued until the row echelon form. By one extra operation is there, that one extra operation is a column consisting of Consisting a first entry 1 has 0 everywhere. In the case of Gauss Jordan method, we used three operations and addition one operation. That one operation, additional operation is a column consisting of consisting a first entry will be 1. All others are zero so goes jordan method we have four properties satisfied in the case of goes elimination method these three properties only satisfied by the use of these two operations one of the operation we can use finding the system is consistent or not we can use any method we can use the Gauss elimination or Gauss Jordan method. So, in the system, we can easily use the Gauss elimination method or Gauss Jordan method. Next, I will say we, we find it a raw echelon form. So, and the uh, augmented matrix, raw equivalent matrix, we find it. So, we can find a rank of augmented matrix also. And next we find a rank of A. If rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix, then AX equal to B. System of equation is consistent. Second case, rank of A equal to 
rang off a by b not equal to a by b system is not consistent that means system is a x equal to b is inconsistent so we have two properties if rank of a and rank of augmented matrix is same then we can say system is consistent rank of a and rank of a uh, augmented matrix is not same then we can say system is inconsistent but rank of a and rank of b is same rank of augmented matrix is same we can say two cases we have two cases rank of a and rank of augmented matrix is same and that rank will equal to number of unknowns this is first case second case is rank of a and rank of augmented matrix is same but this these two values less than number of unknowns so rank of a and rank of augmented matrix are equal and that rank is equal to number of unknowns we can say the system has unique solution rank of a and rank of augmented matrix is same number of unknowns uh, that uh, rank will be less than number of unknowns uh, then we can say system has infinitely many solution otherwise rank of a and rank of augmented matrix is not equal then the system is inconsistent and it has no solution I briefly explain once more uh, <clears throat> we uh, we have system of system of equations so that system of equation we can write down the uh, matrix uh, coefficient matrix constant matrix and variable matrix so we can write it as ax equal to b x equal to b is a system of equation we have m equations and n unknowns so m cross n coefficient matrix n cross 1 variable matrix and m cross 1 constant matrix then we write down the augmented matrix augmented matrix is the coefficient in the coefficient matrix we write down the constant matrix right of this matrix we extra one column will be added that matrix is called augmented matrix augmented matrix rank of augmented matrix and rank of coefficient matrix is same then if and only if the system is consistent if and only if means we can say if system is consistent uh, augmented matrix and uh, matrix coefficient matrix uh, rank will be same these two ranks are same that system is consistent so we have three cases rank of a and rank of augmented matrix will be equal uh, and rank of a and rank of augmented matrix will be not equal rank of a and rank of augmented matrix will be equal two cases are there one is rank equal to unknown the uh, number of unknowns and rank will be less than number of unknowns so rank will be number of unknowns we can say that system has unique solution number of unknowns rank will be less than number less than n then we can say system has more than one solution and rank of a not equal to rank of augmented matrix then we can say it has no solution Gaussian elimination method the system of equation we needed to solve so first of all we write down the coefficient matrix and variable matrix 
and constant matrix. Next, write down the augmented matrix. Variable matrix is here in this system of equation. Uh, three variables x, y and z. And constants will be 2, 1, 3, 4. And coefficients are x coefficient, y coefficient and z coefficients in each equation. We can write down each rows in the matrix. Next we can write down the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix is first you write down the coefficient matrix. And coefficient rate of coefficient matrix you put the the constant matrix. So we got a augmented matrix. Next we need to find uh, the equivalent matrix. So we, we have easily to find a solution. We will make uh, in this matrix uh, equivalent matrix uh, by Gauss elimination method. Gauss elimination method uh, First A11 position will be 1. First step. First we need to see A11 will be 1 or not. A11 is not 1. We need to make A11 position is 1. But fortunately in this question A11 is 1. So that, uh, that position we can kept 1 itself. Then bottom will we will make a bottom of 1. We will make bottom of 1 means this position, this position and a, this position. We need to make a 0. So first row will be same as itself. And second row in this position 3. 3 we need to make 0. So 3 minus 3. So R2 can change us to R2 minus 3 R1. And R3 can change us to R3 minus 4 R1. And R4 can change us to R4 minus 2 R1. So we got the, these three positions are 0. And 1 minus 6 minus 5. Minus 5 and minus 5. Uh, minus 3 minus 8. Minus 11. Minus 5 and minus 5. Here 0 0 0. So first step completed. A11 is 1 and bottom will be 0. Next we need to kept A22 is 1. So here minus 5. So we need to make this will be 1. So we will divided by R2 changes to R2 divided by minus 5. We got this position will be 1. All others are same as above. So, 0 minus 5 by 1, minus 5 by 1 and minus 5 by 1. Next, bottom will be 0. So, this position we need to 0. So, all others are same and all other rows are same. R3 in this position we need to make a 0. So, R3 changes to R3 plus 11, R2. So, 0, 0, 6, 6. Next, A33 position we need to make a 1. So, we need to do R3 di, uh, divided by 6. So, all others are same. And R3 position we divided by 6 we got 1, 1. All others are same as above. So, in this position bottom will be 0. So, this is an equivalent matrix of uh, augmented matrix. This augmented matrix. This matrix is an equivalent matrix of this matrix. So we can write it as 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 is an equivalent to coefficient matrix x, y, z equal to 2, 1, 1, 0 is equivalent to constant matrix. Then we can solve by back substitution. 0, 0, z. Z equal to 1. Next, second row multiplied by variable y plus z equal to 1. So, y equal to 0. Next, uh, this row multiplied by this x plus 2, y plus z equal to 2. Uh, x plus 1 equal to 2. x equal to 1. 
So we will take first we can find the set value. Next uh, the using set value we can find the y value. Using x and y, y and z value we get the z value. So this method is called back substitution. So by back we go, first we got the equivalent matrix and equivalent matrix we can substitute back substitution we got the x, y and z values. By using Jordan, Gauss Jordan elimination method, we have a system of equation. This system of equation solve it by using Gauss Jordan method. So, first of all, we write down the coefficient matrix 2 minus 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 1. And uh, variable matrix and uh, constant matrix. Then second step is you can write down the augmented matrix. So 2 minus 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 1 and write 9, 6, 2. This is an augmented matrix. Then you need to, uh, you need to use Gauss-Jordan method. In the case of Gauss-Jordan method, A11 position will be 1. That is the matrix First entry will be 1. That is the uh, one of the property. But here the first position is 2. So but need to change uh, the first position is 1. So what we can do? So a lot of ways we can change to first position will be 1. We can divide it by uh, first row divided by 2. We get a first position will be 1. Otherwise, we can change uh, second row to first row, uh, third row to first row. Because for second row's first position is 1. Similarly, third row, first position is 1. Therefore, second row we can change. Otherwise, third row also can change uh, to R1. So, in this case, I changes R2 to R1 and R1 to R2. So, we got 1, 1, 1. 6, 2 minus 1, 3, 9, 1 minus 1, 1, 2. So, we got first position will be 1. Next to bottom, we need to uh, make 0. So, this and this will be 0. So, first row is same as, first row is same as 1, 1, 6. Huh? And uh, second row, 2 is here. So, 2 minus 2 will be 0. So, here R2 minus 2 R1. So, that will be 0. Minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. 3 minus 2. Uh, 1. And 9 minus 12 minus 3. Next, here will be 1. So, R3 changes to 1 minus 1 is 0. So, R3 minus R1. So, 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 6, minus 4. So, first step completed. First entry will be 1. And bottom, sum 0. Next, we need to change A2 to become 1. So, we can divide it by R2 to R2 by minus 3. So, all other rows are C. So, 0, 1, minus 1 by 3 and 1. Minus 3 by minus 3, 1. 1 by minus 3, minus 1 by 3, minus 3 by minus 3, 1. Next, bottom and above, we need to become 0. Minus 1 position minus 2 position. That is the difference between Gauss-Jordan method and the Gauss elimination method. In the case of Gauss elimination method, we make 0 in the bottoms of A11, A22, A33. But Gauss-Jordan elimination method, A11 bottom, A22 bottom and above, A33 bottom and above uh, can proceeding in this way.
So we needed to change. This will become 1 and minus 2 position and this 1 position we needed to change 0. So R3 can change us to R3 plus 2 R1, R2. And R1 can change us to R1 minus R2 minus R, R1 minus R2 or R2 minus R1, R1 minus R2. So we got the second row is same as itself. We needed to change third and first row. So 1 minus 1, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1 by 3. So 4 by 3. 6 minus 1, 5. Next, 0, minus 2 plus 2, 0, 0, minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 4 plus 2, minus 2. Next, we need to change this position, A33, we need to change 1. So, we can divide all as same, but R3 position, except R3, R3 uh, in R3, A33 position will make to 1. So, we can divide R3 divided by R3 divided by minus 2 by 3. So, 0, 0, minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 1. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 by 3, uh, 3. So, this position we, we made 1. The above position we needed to made 0. So, A33 is 1. The above positions we need to make 0. So, 0, 0, 1, 3. R3 is same. We need to make this position, this position we need to make 0. So, R2 changes to R2 plus 1 by 3 R3. And R1 changes to R1 minus 1 by 3 R3. So, 0, 1, here 0, 0. So, multiplied by 1 by 3 is same as itself. Minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 0. 1 plus 1, 2. Next, 1 minus 1, 0. 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3, 0. 5 minus 3 into 1 by 3. 5 minus 4. In this matrix, this position will be 1. All above positions we need to make a 0. So, in this operation, R2 plus 1 by 3 R3. Here minus 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by 3 0. So, R2 plus 1 by 3 R3 and R1 changes to R1 minus 4 by 3 R3. So, these two changes, we got this matrix. 0, 0, 1, 3. Third row is same. And uh, second row and first row, 0 into 0 plus 1 by 3, 0. 0, 1 plus 0 into 1 by 3, 1. Minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, 0. 1 plus 3 into 1 by 3, 2. So, we got 0, 1, 0, 2. And uh, first two matrix 1, uh, minus 4 by 3 into 0, 1. 0, minus 0 into 4 by 3, 0. 4 by 3, minus 4 by 3, 0. 5 minus 4 by 3 into 3. Uh, 5 minus 4, 1. So, we got first, first row is 1, 0, 0, 1. So, we got... Finally, we got the equivalent matrix is 1001, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, 3. So, we can take in this matrix, coefficient matrix and uh, constant matrix separately. We got 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 and constant matrix is 1, 2, 3. So, we can write uh, AX equal to B, A dash equal a dash x equal to b dash. A dash is an equivalent matrix of A. B dash is an equivalent matrix of B. So, here 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is an equivalent matrix of coefficient matrix and this is an equivalent matrix of constant matrix. So, 1, 1 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 into x, y, z equal to 1, 2, 3. So, here first row into coefficient matrix. 
variable matrix we got x equal to 1. Second row into variable matrix we got y equal to 2. Third row into variable matrix z equal to 3. So here we got x equal to 1, y equal to 2 and uh, z equal to 3. So this is the solution of above system of equation.